everybody's waiting for the man with the box. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hey internet friends, good morning, welcome or welcome back to Sustainable Sierra YouTube channel. It's your first time visiting me here or if it's been too long since we've seen each other. Hi, welcome, my name is Sierra and I'm an American who lives in England and I make videos of my family's life here or whatever it is I'm really excited about at the time at which I sit down to film. In today's video, as you can, tell, as you can tell by the title, I'm very excited because it is the best time of the year. It is time for the lush Christmas range. You know that song where everyone's talking about waiting for the man with the bag? I sang part of it earlier. I don't know if I put it in the video or not. It might not make the cut. You know, who cares about the man with the bag? At this time of the year, I am waiting for the man with the box. And the box the bat man brought this morning, although it had kind of a rough trip, it's kind of like, you know, mangled, but it's a pretty good size. And then because apparently I need to be supervised better, I was in the town center today because I had some errands to run and I accidentally went to my Lush store and picked up some more Christmas stuff. Accidentally, meaning I just went in there and yeah. Anyways, so without further ado, we're going to get into the range. Before we start, though, I do want to tell you guys a little secret, which I also told you guys about the Halloween range. I guess it's not really a secret, but what I want to share is just like last year and this year, I didn't purchase every single item in the Christmas range. I know, I'm really sorry. The name of the video is, you know, Christmas Range Haul, which it is a haul. It's just not the entire Christmas range. Um, I didn't buy all the items in the range because I have a huge Lush collection, as you guys have been around for a while now. I mentioned in the last video, I have a closet over there full of Lush, and I really... Need is not the word. I don't, it's not necessary for me to grow my collection anymore, but I do love buying the new products and trying them out. So I got most of the new Lush Christmas products for this year. And then a couple of products that I either um, needed for the house or that I definitely wanted to buy again as a gift for a little man or something. So yeah, that's the disclaimer. And now we're gonna open up the box and see what I picked up, which is all very exciting. Actually, because all this stuff's already on the table, I think I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up in my Lush store earlier, and then we'll go into the box. So the first new product I'm gonna show you, actually all except like two products are new products, so whatever. First product I'm gonna show you is a bath bomb, and it's giant, and I think it's probably the most beautiful one in the entire range this year. Feel free to fight me in the comment section, and it is the, I'm calling it the Magic Lamp Bath Bomb, that's not what it's called, it's officially called the Wishing Lamp Bath Bomb, which I completely understand why they called it that, but you'll see in a second, because it looks exactly like Aladdin's Wishing Lamp. And it's absolutely beautiful. Actually, shout out to my store if you're watching. Actually, Associates, I know you guys are watching out there, or usually you guys say you watch my videos. Um, looked through every single box for me to find the perfect one, and it looks like this. So this is my Wishing Lamp Bath Bomb. Similarly to the Flying Sother Bath Bomb that came out for Halloween last year and this year, it opens up at the top and it has either bath salt or some kind of bevel bar dust on the inside. I think this might be bulbar dust or just more bath bomb dust, I can't remember, but it is really pretty and you can probably get three different baths out of this. I'll probably get two out of it because Little and I are kind of greedy and also in the store today I told him that he could have the inside and the top and I have the bottom, so that's what we're going to do. But the inside is gorgeous, so I'm wondering what color it's going to be, but I'm going to give it a smell. I can actually smell it from here, but I'll describe it to you because it's impeccable. So, oh my gosh, you guys, this is like... I don't know. I can't believe that it's going to get any better than this. I know that it gets better because these products are incredible this year. At least all the new ones are. Well, the old products were saying were great too. Anyways, um, I can't imagine it's going to get any better than this. It just smells so, so, so good. So, wow. I'm really going to enjoy this and it's just so pretty. I kind of want to just save it so I can look at it. Maybe I'll get another one for my office just to look at. I don't know. This one's really pretty. Let me know in the comment section um, if you're going to, how many of these you're going to buy or if you think I should save it or if I should use it or both. I don't know. That's my dog, by the way. He's barking. Also, I should mention Little Man's watching TV underneath of me, so you might hear, like, crackling TV sounds or, like, kids' cartoon sounds. I don't know. But anyways, moving on to the next item is actually a shower gel, which I actually only ended up getting a sample because I still have a bottle of the shower gel left from last year, but it is the Yog Nog shower gel. Yog Nog shower gel, as you guys know, if you've been around for a while, it's been around for, oh gosh, a really long time. I remember when it came out as a soap. That's how long I've been a Lushy. And then it became a shower gel and everyone went crazy for it. But it's beautiful this year. It's the same scent. It's like a caramel toffee scent. The main difference is that as you guys can see here, I don't want to spill it too much of it. Maybe I can just spill a little bit. It looks almost exactly like the golden egg shower gel from the Easter range. It does smell amazingly like Yog Nog. Kind of want to drink it. Not going to, but I want to. Uh, but they use the same technology in order to get the sparkles suspended in the shower gel. So it's really gorgeous and it's going to be really fun to use. Moving on to the next item. It's not a Christmas product, but it is just like an everyday product that I picked up and Zora because we were out. But it is my favorite toothpaste, especially for the autumn. And it is the 
Soother Toothpaste Jelly. Soother Toothpaste Jelly, I've shown it to you guys before. It's just a toothpaste jelly. Um, looks like this. Kind of reminds me of the old um, jelly face mask because it is, you know, a jelly. You just use it like regular toothpaste. You just pull up a little bit and, you know, do what you need to do. Um, I love it because it has clove in it and a little, it doesn't cinnamon as well. Maybe it's just clove. Yeah, it is anise, clove, and almond with stevia and all the other stuff in it. I really like it in the hot dog mostly because of the flavor. So there's that. Next product I'm going to show you guys. It's also not a Christmas product. It's actually part of the Halloween range, but I forgot to pick it up because I forgot to get my black pot. But it is the Mr. Pumpkin Face Mash. There are a handful of sheet masks available for the Christmas range, by the way. I didn't buy any of them just because I don't really like sheet masks, but you know, they're out there and they look really fun to take pictures of on Instagram. Anyways, Mr. Pumpkin Face is a fresh face mask and it smells delicious. It's supposed to be like a pumpkin-y spice scent. To me, it just kind of smells like pumpkin butter. I think that's just because my son uses pumpkin butter on his sandwiches sometimes, but like the pumpkin seed butter. But anyways, I'm gonna give it a little smell for you guys. Yeah, it smells a little bit different from last year. I think it actually has pumpkin puree in it this year. And I don't know if it did the year before or if it did, maybe it was just more like seed smelly like. Seed smelly like. That is the scent description for you. But yeah, um, I really liked it last year and so I'm gonna use it this year. Hopefully it'll be around even through the Christmas holidays because I feel like at that time of the year I need a little extra moisture, you know what I mean? So that concludes the things I picked up from my Lush store and now we're gonna get on to the big boy. Well, actually it's not that big, but it's bigger than my usual Lush boxes. So anyway. I'm gonna open it up. I really wish the box was in better condition. Hopefully all the products are. I don't know. All I've done is open it to get the knot wrap out in order to do the introductions. I only picked up one this year. If you guys don't know what Lush knot wraps are, they're like reusable wrapping paper that are made of fabric. They're actually for Oshiki. It's wrapping cloth. It's like a Japanese gift wrap thing. But the one I picked up is this one. and It's called Party Animals and it is beautiful. I love it so much. It's hand drawn and I don't know exactly who created it, but it looks like this. And as you can see, the little animals are skating and you know just having a ball in the snow and I like this because it's not really just like a Christmas wrap you know it's more of like a holiday wrap I guess there is a couple of Santa hats in there but it's not you know just focused on Christmas it's very wintry so theoretically yeah there's a Santa hat but I could probably get away with using this for gifts in January as well I don't know but it's really pretty and I love it and I also love this because it is created by artists from the blue room which is a charity that Lush collaborates with to teach both neurodivergent and just new young learning artists how to do art and support them really well so i thought that it was a really special way to support the company as well so next item in the haul is actually a returning product that little man loved last year and i really loved too and that is the candy cane reusable bubble bar candy cane reusable bubble bar is i think peppermint scented this year no it's not i can't remember it used to be citrusy scented but Anyways, it's reusable, meaning you can just run it under the tap and then save it and then reuse it a few times to create a ton of bubbles in your tub. Maybe it is citrus. I don't know. But anyways, let's give it a little smell. No, I don't think it is peppermint. I don't know. We're going to check. There's a lot of scents going on here. So for some reason, my nose is just like not picking this up. I'm just going to check the ingredient list on here. Just kidding. Actually, I lied. There's actually peppermint here as well as Sicilian lemon oil and bergamot oil. So I think the bergamot and lemon is was throwing me off earlier. Because originally it was very like lemony and citrusy and then they changed it to add peppermint last year. But it is really pretty and gorgeous and it smells really nice and the bubbles are delicious and soft. So, oh, that's so nice. Maybe I'll buy another one for myself. I did buy this for Little Man's stocking because, you know, you have to have a candy cane. And who needs a bunch of extra candy at Christmas? Nobody. Because you know what? The grandparents sent it and the advent calendar is and it's all too much. So, anyway, moving on to the next item is a bath bomb. I actually got two of them and it is the Lump of Coal Bath Bomb. And they look like this. Actually, my two look a little bit different from each other, which is interesting. Um, it's just a black bath bomb, and I'm really curious to see what color it makes the water. But as you guys can guess, I got this for Little Man's stocking as well. We don't do Santa, but, you know, the whole lump of coal in your stocking thing, I thought it'd be really cute. It smells incredible. I'm going to give it a little sniff, and then I'm going to read the official ingredients because I don't remember what they are. I think it's the same as the cinnamon roll bubble bar. I could be lying. I'm pretty sure it's the same, but anyways, let's give it a little sniff. Ooh, yeah, that does smell really good. It's got some patchouli in there, I think. At least I smell patchouli. Maybe it was touching something else and cinnamon, but officially, according to the ingredient list, it is scented with cinnamon leaf oil, clove leaf oil, Brazilian orange oil, and that's it. I don't know why it is I think that I'm smelling patchouli in there. Maybe it's the 
clove and the cinnamon together it kind of smells like patchouli because it's a really warming scent i don't know but it smells delicious and warming and i cannot wait to use this one maybe i'll buy some extra ones i don't know because i'm not a big fan of the cinnamon roll bubble bar but i really love the scent of it so this is very exciting anyway where's my little cloth here it does turn your fingers awfully black i don't think i don't know if i mentioned that before but if i have black fingers you know for the rest of the video you guys will know why anyway moving on to the next item underneath all of the packing planet we have a really cute bath bomb called the penguin which looks like this penguin bath bomb I can't remember exactly but I think there actually used to be a bubble bar with the same scent and a very similar design but penguin bubble bar I have heard is the olive branch don't quote me on that but I do really love the smell of it I smelled it in store today and I was excited to rush home to smell and use this one I'm gonna give it a little smell and then we'll look at the ingredients list together so on first sniff it smells just as delicious here as it did in the store. So Penguin Bath Bomb is scented with Sicilian Lemon Oil, Orange Flower Absolute, and Sicilian Red Mandarin Oil. So that's why it smells so delicious. I'm really excited to use it. Maybe I need to buy some more. I keep buying just one bath bomb and then a week later I go to my Lush store and buy more of them because apparently I have a problem. Which we all know that because we're here and that's part of why you guys are here watching me. So moving on anyway to the next item is a soap and it is the Golden Linsane Soap which mine is very dirty um, but it looks like this. I'll see if I can find a picture of what it looks like in the shops or online it's actually like a big wheel but they're just kind of chopping it into like little wedges but it is the Chris the Camel scent I believe which is like a cinnamon spicy warming scent so I'm gonna give it a smell. Mm. It smells good and it smells a little bit sweet also which is interesting because I don't remember Chris the Camel having a sweetness to it but it probably has maybe some almond oil in there um in with the base maybe that changes the scent but according to the packing list it is scented with Let's see, it has golden castor sugar syrup in there, which is probably why it smells sweet, because, you know, it actually has sugar in there, which is good for the skin. Golden linseeds, organic coconut oil, cinnamon leaf, clove blood oil, uh, olivanum oil, which is frankincense, and Brazilian orange oil. So, delicious. Kind of want to eat it. Not going to eat it. Might taste it off camera. I'm not going to do that. I don't think. Moving on, next item in the box is I actually got two of them and it is the Catch Me If You Can bath bomb. There's this one I got for myself and of course you can guess who this one is for, Little Man of course. Um, they smell incredible. They're so cute. I absolutely love them. Of course, you know, Catch Me If You Can, you know, the story of the gingerbread man. Can't catch me on the gingerbread man? Well, I caught two of them. Um, they're super adorable as I just mentioned before and they smell really good. I think it is like citrus and gardenia. So officially the ingredients and catch me if you can are sweet wild orange oil yep um lime oil guardian extract and olive oil and it also has a little bit of ginger powder as well and i don't see anything in here that it was dipped in so maybe it's just like the high layer of glitter on the front um it is a bio glitter by the way which if you put it down the sink it just biology grades but it's just so pretty and so cute again i feel like i want to put this in the background of my video so get ready for a lot of Christmas I guess in the next couple of videos I don't know but anyways moving on to the next item there's only a few things left but it is the reindeer bubble bar or at least I think it's called the reindeer bubble bar it looks like this and it is a very very sweet scent the scent's in reindeer bubble bar it's called cherry cherry bubbles I'm guessing it's very cherry -y. It smells kind of like cherryish to me with a little bit of something else in there so according to the ingredients it is scented with almond oil it gives it like that really sweet smell that kind of gives you like that fruitiness to almost anything. Benzin, Revenoid, Irish Moss Powder, and that's it. But maybe it is just the almond giving it that sweet cherry flavor as I mentioned before, but oh, that smells delicious. Don't do that. No, seriously, guys, don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. Moving on to the next item, and this is the last bath bomb I'm going to show you guys, and it is the Snowy Bath Bomb, which, as you guys can guess, because it's called Snowy, it looks like a little snowman, and it smells, again, incredible. I feel like every single item I've picked up from this range this year smells incredible. I did hear some comments in the store today about how people were disappointed about how the range this year has a lot of, like, repeats, but I think it has, like, a good amount of newbies as well. But this one, I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. For some reason, I thought it would smell like Dear John because it looks a lot the Dear John bath bomb. I think it's Dear John bath bomb. I'll put a picture of Dear John here if I can find one. Um, but you know what I mean with the blue and the white? I thought the dots are blue. Anyways, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm going to give it a little smell and then we'll talk about the ingredients because the ingredients are pretty good as well. So, oh, so delicious. The scents in this one are bergamot oil, 
that's what I love about it. It's the bergamot, as well as a lavender and lemongrass. So if you like bright, sweet, um, semi citrusy scents from the bergamot, you're gonna love this. Look how cute this is, and I cannot wait to use this one. This one, you know, as you can guess, is definitely for me. Because Little Man, even though it's in his toothpaste, he doesn't really like bergamot scented things that much. Anyways, um, at this point in the video, we only have one more product left. And it is one of the ones I'm most excited about. Because the Mother's Day lip balm that came out was incredible. And again, they have another lip butter. And it is the Candy Cane Lip Butter. Mine's really dirty from all the other stuff that's inside of my box. I'm going to open it up and give it a little smell. I obviously can't put it on for you guys because I have red lipstick on, you know, for the Christmasy theme in the video. But I can smell it from here and it smells delicious. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that smells like a straight up sweet peppermint candy cane scent. Plus something else, like almost like a vanilla candy cane. You know what it smells like to me? A candy cane cookie. That's what it smells like. But you can see it's a really pretty, like a pink color. I don't know if I like the color. I mean, it's pretty, but I expected it to either be red or white because it's, you know, a candy cane. But regardless, the official ingredients in this one are you know, things that are in like lip balms. So it's castor oil, jojoba oil, and sunflower wax, calendula wax, and shea butter. So super moisturizing. And then it has peppermint oil and stevia. So the stevia might be giving it the sweetness. I kind of want to like try it. Are you guys going to judge me if I lick my hand on camera? Like you're judging me anyway, so why not? Ooh, that's really good. It almost kind of tastes like peppermint bubble gum. Is that weird? If you have a chance to smell this or try this, let me know in the comment section, does it taste like peppermint bubblegum to you? I don't know, maybe I'm losing my mind, maybe I'm like of all the bath bomb smells, I don't know. But with that being said, that is the end of the video for today. It looks like everything is out of my box, which I'm really sad about. Kind of wish my haul had been bigger this year. It'll probably get bigger as soon as I get a chance to go to the town center again. But that's it. Overall, this range is pretty good for this year. Do I think it's incredible as the years pass? No. But I think that's only because a lot of the products that came out last year that are repeats this year were incredible last year. Do you guys know what I mean? But anyways, um, yeah, that's the end of my Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually have dinner cooking in the oven, so I need to go take it out before it burns. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comment section. Also, tell me which of these Christmas products you think I should have purchased or which ones you're going to get. Like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Christmas. Happy New Year. Bye.